Oh. I don't know if y'all can see that, but here we go. <laughs> so proper. Anyway, let's talk about Big Brother Canada. So, actually, I drove like six miles just now. So hopefully this crap is still hot because I'm, I'm not heating it up with lettuce and sour cream. But I got chicken. They were out of steak. I usually eat chicken and steak. Well, if that wasn't the biggest fail of the year, I don't know what was. <laughs> I took one bite and the camera died. That was great. But since this is a mukbang, I can tell y'all what happened. I actually made a lot of videos today. Reaction videos that y'all will see in the coming future. And like I said, I did not plan on eating, doing a mukbang. I've never done one. It's the first one. And um, I got food and I said, hey, I should do a mukbang. But... Took one bite and camera died. But what I was about to say was this was definitely not hot anymore. It was actually really cold. Completely cold, but it was just so good. It was so I love this. While it was cold, I can only imagine how it would have tasted while it was hot. I just I feel I find it weird to heat something up to have sour cream and lettuce. I just I just think it's weird. But in this I got chicken. They were out of steak. I usually get steak and chicken, but I got chicken brown rice, chicken, brown rice, a light corn, lettuce, black beans, sour cream, cheese, and I actually, when I ate it, I did add this, the queso, this is really good, and I added some guac, but to be honest, this is not really good, like, maybe I just don't like guacamole, or this one is not good at all to me, it just, it tastes, it, it tastes, it actually tastes bad to me like it don't taste good i guess i just don't like I, I know not to order it no more i ate it in here though but with the chips it, didn't, it wasn't good i still got chips i ate a few of them <laughs> I, I took the camera right when it happened i took the camera apart put the battery on the charger so that i could do some more but i finished eating and i, I finished doing one of my videos which y'all probably see and yeah so i'm not I, i'm full now this is as much as I ate, they all probably. Oh, I forgot to take a picture. When the camera died, and so, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. This is such a bad mukbang, but I mean, shoot, it's the first one. But what I was gonna talk about was Big Brother Canada season seven. Um, this is gonna be all of the mukbang is me eating this one chip because I'm really full. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, I actually went to Wendy's. When I left here, so that just tells you how cold my food really was. I say I drove six miles, but it was probably more than six miles. It was, it was a while away. It was more than six miles. It was a while away, and then I stopped at Wendy's. Get a strawberry lemonade. I don't know why it came inside this cup. If y'all drink Wendy's strawberry lemonade, y'all know it usually comes in a clear cup, which is way look way better on camera. So I wish they had it, but they don't. It sucks. I wonder how this is working with the green screen. Is this blending in right now? This is probably really messing up my shot because of the green screen. So let's just move that out the way. But what I was going to talk about was Big Brother Canada, Season 7. So I know Big Brother Canada doesn't get as many views as Big Brother US. So I don't know how this video is going to do. Hopefully, y'all click on it just because of the mukbang. But, this is my first time watching Big Brother Canada. Um, I was on Twitter, and somebody sent the big, the Casey Clark, I think her last name's Clark, the winner of Big Brother 20. She asked, how can she watch Big Brother Canada? Whenever I post it, nobody ever replies, of course. But, since Casey posted it, and she's the winner of Big Brother US Season 20, just won a couple months ago. She didn't even win six months ago, y'all. Do y'all realize that? October? She won November. October, November, December, December. Maybe I was a little off with that, but. Somebody sent her the link, so I took the link for myself and literally 
that link had every single episode of Big Brother Canada for every season. It was like great. So I binge watched season two. If y'all want me to do a review on that, oh, maybe I can do that in the buck mukbang. Not this one though, because this is all about season seven. But I binge watched season two. It took me like a week, maybe less than a week. Season two was really good. Season two of Big Brother Canada. Season, Big Brother Canada Season 2 was better than Big Brother U.S. Season 19, but I guess that's not saying much. Everything is better than Big Brother Season 19. But it was better than Big Brother Season. I would say 19, it was better than... I don't think it was better than... It definitely wasn't better than 20. I don't think it was better than 18. It was better than 16. And it was better than all the rest. I don't know. But let me just stop comparing. Big Brother Season 7, like, this is getting a lot of bad reviews on Twitter when I go on it. Like, people say this is, like, the worst season of Big Brother Canada ever. Obviously, I only seen one season, but it was really good. I see why people dislike this so much, because it's one main alliance, and it's, like, running the house. I just realized I forgot to turn my lights on. One second. That's better. I don't know if y'all can even tell, but... I don't know what I was saying, but... There's one main alliance that's like running the whole house. There was only one week where that alliance, the Pretty Boys, was not in control. And even on that week, someone who was their target got out. I blame Chelsea because Chelsea, but she was close with Adam. I don't know. They did. And I will say that in this season, and I'm filming this the day after the double eviction just in case I don't get this out on time and it's outdated but I must say in this season it is kind of like the cast is because the underdogs would be Kiki and Esty right but I don't really have sympathy with Esty I don't really uh, maybe it's cause how she said like she trusts Dane with her like is no one on the cast that's really like I was really liking Mackie, but he was stupid. I liked Kate. Come on, y'all. What about Kaylin saying that she was twenty nine years old? Really? Twenty nine? I mean, she looks good, but twenty nine? Like, why couldn't she say like in her thirties or something? Like, I understand her strategy. I do understand the strategy of lying about her age because older people are. They can be a target. They can be a target. So she was the oldest in the house by far, actually, yeah. 42. The next oldest was 31, so over 10 years. Yeah. She got over 10 years on him. And the second oldest is, uh, who is it? 31, Mackie. Oh, Mackie, he could have passed for really young. Oh, Anthony. Anthony's 31. Oh, yeah, Anthony looked like he could go for 42. He could have been 42. Like, the black people, black people don't crack. Like, that's, that's true. That that stereotype is true. Um, uh, poor Eddie. Eddie just got eliminated. I feel so bad for him because he really liked this show. And I feel like if he would have won HOH, he would have been the one to go after the big alliance. I really do. I feel so bad for Eddie. and How he was saying, I'm sorry I was born and stuff. I feel bad for him. Um, but like I was saying, I don't really connect with Esty. Like, I don't really have a lot of sympathy for her. Kiki, to me, is more likable than Esty. But even her, I don't seem to have sympathy for. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, they're bond. Like, Dan is a good player. Is he, though? I don't know. This is... Y'all... I actually like this mukbang. I can just talk to y'all about stuff. But then, like, with my luck, nobody will watch this because Big Brother Canada's... My, first of all, my subscribers, I don't get a lot of views already. Then talking about Big Brother, which doesn't get a lot of... Well, Big Brother... My Big Brother videos actually are okay. But then it's Big Brother Canada, which not a lot of people watch. So hopefully, this, I'm talking to somebody out there. Um, but yeah, I don't... So Adam I actually like. I actually like Adam and Samantha. I just wish Adam would be the one to turn on his pretty boys. I, I for some reason I like Adam. I really do. I don't I don't I I wish Adam would have fought harder to keep Chelsea and then he would uh oh, but he's in a good spot. That's the thing. Even though we dislike some of these people and how they're playing 
they're like the pretty boys. Even though we dislike them because of how much power they're in, they're good players. They're doing a good job. It would make no sense for Adam to target them right now because he's in a good spot. When he can't compete, he's got four people competing that he knows will not put him up. He's got the three pretty boys and he's got Samantha. So, yeah, that's, um, who did not talk about Samantha? I actually really like. She's the new head of household coming out of the um, double eviction. I don't know if she nominated somebody or not. Actually, I'll look it up. Who did uh? Who does Samantha nominate? Let's find out right now. Okay, uh, I can't find it, and I don't want to make this too awkward. So, I don't know who Samantha nominated, um, but she's probably gonna mess it up, unless she nominates Anthony and Dane, or Dane and Mark, or Mark and Anthony. It's hey, Mark and Anthony. Unless she does something like that, it's gonna be messed up because. If one of them doesn't go home, if one of the three boys doesn't go home, I'm assuming that she's not gonna touch Adam, which I kind I don't I like that I, I like Samantha, I actually like Samantha and Adam. So would they be my favorites, Samantha and Adam, right now? Because everybody else is such a uh, Adam. Adam I like a lot. Anthony is Anthony throwing these competitions? Cause he sucks. <laughs> he sucks. <laughs> Uh, he really so I think Anthony is throwing these competitions because the golf one he th Anthony might be a shoe in to win if he can keep being under the radar throwing these competitions and being so likable. I actually really like Corey. I feel bad for Corey that um she people thought that she was like older than twenty nine. To me, I think Corey's kind of cute. I think she's ugly cute. So I actually like Corey. Sorry, Corey, if you're watching this, but I do think you're ugly cute. Um, Damien, I like him a lot. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Does that mean? Should I cut that part out, the ugly cute part? I mean, people might think that about me, or they might just think I'm ugly, so I, I'm going to keep that in. Everybody's got an opinion. Damien, I like him, but it's so obvious that he don't know anything about this game. Um, why did Canada vote for him to be the first in the house? I, I just, I just want to know, like, what about him? Did they just think he was, like... Did they do it? Like, how, I don't understand. I, like, why did they vote for him? I'm confused. And I'm, I would be confused if it was pretty much... Well, no, because if they had voted for, like, Chelsea, I would say, oh, they did it because she's cute. They probably did it because she's a cute, blonde girl with blue eyes, like, you know. So, did people just think Damien, like, is attractive? Is that why they all voted for him? I'm, I'm not saying, like, I... I don't know how to put this. Um... Or, like, if they had voted for, like, SD, like, they voted for the youngest girl, you know, I could see that. Or, like, even if they voted for, like, Laura, because she looks so different, you know. Um, or Eddie, Eddie, because he looks so unique, you know. But, like, to me, I just don't see it with Damien. But I am a fan of his. I think he's learning the game a little bit, so I, I'm liking him for that. But he's not my favorite. I mean... He's a good person, good guy and all that. He kind of reminds me a little bit of, um, I just watched season two, Adele. He reminds me a little bit of Adele, but I, I don't know about Damien. Dane, he's playing too hard, but it seems like he's likable. Everybody likes him. Nobody's going after him. Oh, my God. Samantha needs to put up Dane. Samantha needs to put up Dane and Mark. That should be her nominations, Dane and Mark. Dane's probably going to win it. Uh, the, 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 um... Dan's probably going to win the veto, especially because Samantha can't even compete. And she's like the best shit. And that's a bad, um, I don't like that twist that the HOH can't compete because Samantha can compete. She's a good competitor. And now she's going to put up two strong players who have a really good chance of winning the veto. But Corey's a good competitor, too. Uh, I don't know. I, I hope she doesn't mess up this. Who is this? Two people are bartenders on this show. We got Kira and Ki Kira and Kira. Okay. Um, wait till I get to Kira. Y'all are gonna probably be mad at me for what I have to say about her. Um. Anyway, so Dane, I I like, but I feel like he he's that dude that I like, but he's too good, so I dislike. So he's like a Tyler. He's like a Derek. Where well he's not nothing like Derek, but just in the sense of 
they were really good, so I disliked them because of how good they were. That's what I mean by that. Then, oh, I can't see without those at all, so. <laughs> um, Esty, I already talked about her. I think she's cute, but I just, I don't, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of Esty. She's the underdog, and she doesn't even realize it. So, no, not a fan. Kira, I'm not sure which Kira this is. I'm going to talk about the girl, Kira, first. The girl who says she's a girl. Who was been on the block. Oh, my God. They're the same. They've both been on the block. I'm talking about the Kira that's not nine board. board however you say that word. By an order. Well, however you say that word. The girl that says she's a girl. Um, Kiki. There we go. Kiki. I'll talk about Kiki. She is uh cool. I like her. I think she's a little bit too cocky. She and her confessionals, or her DM, or I said her DMs, her diary rooms. But I am a fan of Kiki. I think that she has potential to go a long way if she can win HOH. Um, then Kira, the girl that thinks she's a boy, or the girl that is nine boy, whatever that word is. Let me look up that word so I can stop sounding. Uh. Actually, I can't because it's not giving me a summary of the house guest. But the non whatever she is, I don't like her at all. And I'm going to just call her her instead of they because I support the LGBT community. But I have never heard of a person that does not go with one gender or the other. And neither do I believe that does like, no. I I don't like this whole the the whole thing. This might be controversial, but I just don't. I think you're either a boy or a girl. There's no in between. I sometimes feel like a girl. I sometimes feel like a boy. I think that's a cop out. I just I don't like it. I don't like it, guys. I'm sorry. If I offend y'all, but that's just my opinion. I don't think that that is. I don't like it. I don't think it's, no. It took me a long time to even, like, understand transgender. Now that I do understand it, I don't think I would ever understand non, whatever that word is, with her, not being a boy or a girl. And then she said it has nothing to do with your your pipes. Nothing to do with that part. It, it, it goes off how you feel. And she wants to be called they. I, I don't, I'm sorry y'all, I feel like I'm going to get a lot of hate for that one, but I just, and the reason why I dislike her is not because of that, nothing to do with that, but I just dislike how she acts inside the house. I actually think I was warming up to her in one episode, but then like she came off as too, a little bit too creepy inside so her goodbye message to Chelsea when she said like, you, I would risk my game for you and you wouldn't do the same for me. Like, no, she wouldn't. And why would you do that? I hate when people say that. Y'all came on the show for a reason, not for each other. That's why I didn't like, um, why I was kind of turned off by John in season two when he kept saying, we've played this game together when he was talking to Netta. But then he evicted Netta and I did not see that coming. I avoided so many spoilers for that, y'all. I was like, what? He evicted Netta? I, I did not see that coming. And then, like In none of his diary rooms did he even like plant seeds that he would do that like Netta was doing. Like, oh my God. That was great. That was great. Um, So... Yeah, I just don't. I was Kira, uh, the real Kira. I think I'm warming up to her in the house because she's on to. But I feel like she's on to Adam. She's on to the wrong person. Go on to Dane and figure out what's going on with Anthony and Mark. Actually, you can leave. I feel like when Dane leaves, like the pretty boys will be kind of like. Because he's the one winning all the challenges for them. I mean, Adam wins too, but Adam not all the way inside the pretty boys. Adam has other alliances. He was cool with Chelsea. He was cool with Kira. He was cool with, he is cool with Sam. Um, so, but then I guess you can say the same thing about Dane. But Dane's main alliance, well, I guess Adam is too. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I, I like Adam more than Dane. But I like Dane too. I don't know, y'all. This is it's awkward. It's weird. Um, Mark? I like Mark. 
I feel like he could win this whole thing. I think Mark might be my prediction on the winner of Big Brother Canada Season 7. I think Mark will, will take it home. He is... Is he throwing competitions too? I don't know. But I, I think Mark will win. That's my prediction. And Samantha, I really like... Why does everybody think that Samantha and Adam Showman's is gross and nasty and stuff? I th I feel like they're fine. and nothing wrong with them to me. Like, whatever. Um, it's no worse than any other Showman's that I've seen on this show. Adam, I mean, I said Adam. Um, McCray and Amanda was the weirdest that I've ever seen, I think, because of how different. Like, these two, they're both attractive. Like, they look, like, nice. Like, they're the same age. Well, Samantha's 30 and Adam's... Yeah, they're about the same age and... They're in the same age group, should I say. They're, they're cool. I like them. I, I really like Samantha and Adam. And they back-to-back -back HOHs. I, I like them. Uh, and they've lasted a long time to be a showman. It's two, four, five, five weeks. Oh, it was a double every. So four weeks. Well, five weeks because Samantha's the HOH, so there's no way she's putting him up. Like They're good. Uh, should I talk about the evicted? I already talked about Eddie. I really liked him. Felt bad for him. Uh, Chelsea, Chelsea Bird, um, she had potential, she made the wrong move, and what was up with her in the dining room keep saying that this is gonna be like a big, big move, like, you took out the oldest person in the house through a back door, like, you're flattering yourself, you're flattering yourself a lot, it's not that serious, um, Kaylin, she played too hard, she, she really ruined Eddie's game, and, Mainly just Eddie's game by sh telling everybody, well, oh, I forgot to talk about Dane with that whole thing. Like, Dane is a piece of crap. Maybe that's why I don't like him that much. I, I went from saying I like him and now that he's a piece of crap because I remember what he did. Swore on his dad as emotional as he was when he got that HOH room and he saw pictures of his dad. You swear on your dad's life or grave that you will not evict Mackie and then you do it? You better win this game, Dane. If you don't win this game, then there's no justification for that. And I don't have, I do have respect for him. I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing too much right there. Um, Kaylin. So yeah, she shouldn't have told all them to do that. Just for Mackie. I mean, just evicted her and then just stay, like, be under the radar. But you know, whatever, Mackie. I really liked him. I really liked Mackie. He was like my favorite on the show, and he was the second one evicted. Uh, Laura didn't even care about. Didn't even know her. Like uh, first, first episode. That was when I. That was my. I watched this first episode before I watched season twenty. I'm um, season two of Big Brother. So that was the first Big Brother episode. I, Canada episode I ever watched, and she was evicted in like the first episode, second episode. So I didn't even notice her. Um. It seemed like it did seem like in the beginning that they were getting rid of the all the minorities. I'm not saying it was. I'm I'm saying it could completely be a coincidence. But Laura, Mackie, and Kaylin left the first three people, first three weeks. So, the, like, it wasn't a good look. It wasn't a good look. But Anthony's still in there, and um, I think Damien is some like I don't know. Uh, and Kira is definitely well. It's technically everybody from Canada a minority because they have they come from all different types of backgrounds. Um, yeah, but uh, my prediction for the winner is going to be Mark. I can also see who can I see winning. I can see Corey winning because I don't see her being a target for anybody right now. Um, Corey, Mark, maybe Anthony. Corey, Mark, Anthony, Mark, Anthony. That's going to crack me up every time. Um, and the person I think, so the people I like, I'm going to just go through everybody and say if I give them a thumbs up or down. So uh, Adam, Anthony, Corey, Damien, Dane, Esty, Kira, uh, Kiki, Kira, the non whatever that word is sideways sideways pointing kind of more down not that Chelsea's gone maybe it's a, a solid sideways for Kira the non whatever that word is I sound ignorant saying that because I don't know the word sorry y'all Mark thumbs up Samantha thumbs up Eddie Chelsea I didn't like Chelsea <laughs> uh, Kaylin 
Kaylin, I, I didn't really. Uh, Kaylin and Laura, I didn't really like. I didn't see them. I don't know. Uh, Mackie was cool. Uh, I like about um, how on Big Brother Canada this season they get these Wendy's. Like, when did that start? Like, I like that. But I every time they do it, I feel like, oh my god, please no. Like, I don't look because I eventually do want to watch Big Brother Canada season one, three, four, one, three, four, five, and six. So I'm scared that the, the person that gives them the food is going to be a winner. And they're going to be like, oh, it's the winner of blah, blah, blah. So with the last episode where they did it, I skipped forward so I wouldn't hear him say what he said about the winner, the Dane that is, or about the person who gave them the food. Cause, so I'm scared about that. But I like how they give Wendy's. And they, but why is it that they always pick the weird stuff? I am mean, not weird stuff, but like they never get like a, a burger or like a, like they always get like, Salad. I'm getting a nacho salad or taco salad. I'm getting chili. <laughs> like, they get stuff like that. It's weird. I like when they got that strawberry lemonade, though. That was the first week. But, uh, Jesus Christ, y'all. This mukbang is so long. Alright, y'all. I talk too much. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video on all forms of social media. Let's talk Big Brother Canada. More mukbangs to come. Catch you later.